Hello and welcome to 11th video tutorial. Print, uh, in this tutorial, I will show you printing with C sharp. You can see I have taken a liberty of creating a new project, uh, printing with C sharp, and created a new form. On their form, I placed two blank buttons with no codes in a combo box. On the combo box, on the form load event, I have uh, coded so the combo box fills up with data like this. So, clicking the button does nothing and the combo box have all the data required. Selecting them does nothing. Uh, how I did this is here's the code, but this tutorial is covered in my previous videos. So, let's start printing. First, we code print all data. Double click and the print all data. Uh, button code opens up. Uh, let's go to our form design and create a new form. Uh, in our project, we right click, add new item, and this uh, we select Windows form. Uh, let's name our form. Uh, so form 2, we named it uh, uh, print preview. Print preview. So this uh, will be a print preview form for all our reports, one form. We get item, and the form is added, we make it a bit bigger, however big we want to. And from the toolbar, we select, uh, scroll down and select uh, report, reporting, and report viewer. To break one report viewer into our form, we can resize how we want, or we can uh, uh, dock it to parent com container, you know? so it looks good. And close this and we save all. Now we have uh, this new form. Uh, let's run our project. And as always, our form won't start. If we want to change which form starts when we run our project, it's very simple. We just go up to our code, go to program.cs, and the last line here, application.run, the name of the form we type here will be the form running paste when we run our application. Anyway, we need to add one report uh, in this print preview dialog box. To do that, uh, we click uh, right click, add new item once again, and scroll down and select uh, report from wizard, which will be simple. Click add. And the wizard asks where we want our data to come from. We say database. Next, data set. Next, and the connection to our database is uh, already made. Or we can type new connection and browse our database where where it is. We go on next connection string name doesn't matter. We go on next, and here we want our table. My table. All data comes in, we go finish. And data set one, we can rename if you want. And data, my data source should be my data set. And my table will come from my table. We go next. And the report says we must be group, rows, first name, last name, phone number, column, first name, last name. And some value we don't want that value, but just put ID because we don't have any new <coughs> value for now. We need to one next, and let's uh, not collect expand block view, make it look simple. And next, let's select generic thing, so nothing, and we can, okay. we can resize our report. This is our report, it's called report one, and it is. This object we can move into the center. This object is called table matrix. If we right click on our report and in text, instead we can edit text box and a lot of things here. We'll save all. For now, uh, let's uh, uh, get to get backspace and backspace get rid of these columns. Let's preview run in our program and let's see how our how report looks. Run, looks eh? Uh, we click play and oops, this 
let me start up phone one. Uh, okay. So to run our report, we have to, like I mentioned earlier, open program.cs and change this to the name of our new form, which is print preview. Right? So print preview is already there. I'll select it, label, and run. And sure enough, our report forms run, but no report has been loaded. So that is because we have to go to our print preview design form and and from the menu over here, small menu, you select which report we want to run it. And report one is already there. Select, save, and you play. And sure enough, our report comes in. Uh, you can see we have already page. We can, if we have multiple pages in our report, we can scroll through the refresh. We can print. If we click print. Printer dialog box comes up. You can select printer, print. You can do, uh, see layout, page setup, and export to Excel, PDF, Word. A lot of options are already available here in this print preview dialog box we just made. Anyways, let's continue on coding. We close this form and we open our report once again to design. Let's, uh, let's right click uh, and say a new line. Let's just uh, like line seven and uh, say it. Uh, I'm just showing you how formatting works. Eh? Text box and then this text box uh, we can uh, we can go to expression and from here equals data set. We can press me. Why is this underline? Yes. So. We once again uh, uh, insert a text box and to fill the value from the data database to the text box we have to right click go to not to expression go to text box sort key and here we can change the font, border, fill, color and everything. A good, a good set of options here but we need to go to general and the value we select and uh, it could be fascinating. fascinating field. Uh, we get another text box instead Box. Uh, just get it here. Right click. Uh, take the properties. Let's make this one bold. And that's okay. And the value will be button. Just okay. You get the idea. And then we can now uh, probably insert text box and type text ourselves. Uh, I put our report. I don't know. And we can also format it from the properties, uh, select item properties, and we have uh, uh, all the options here. You see, like uh, when you spend some time, you will be able to uh, um, get the hang of this. Let's uh, make it uh, size or weight. You see what I what I mean? Uh, okay. Anyways, let's not waste time <laughs> designing the form. Okay. It takes a lot of time to design the space size and all the fields. Anyways, our report is done. This is our report. Now let's run our program and we see our report. Fine. Okay, let's go the operation. Okay. So we close this. This and this. Oh, yeah, actually, on that we have to start not home with preview page. Testing is over. Let's start with that phone one for now, which we will always start it. Anyways, phone one we have button. We'll say print all data. Now, this code will be very simple. We just have to open the report, eh? print the report. To do that, we type. We type. We actually have to make a new the form we require, which is the name of the form will be print preview print preview form. We can uh, like uh, form print eh? form print uh, equals new. And 
So our so now this form print uh, is actually our form two, as you can see. So we have form print dot. Uh, it has a show method. It will open the form. So when it opens the form, it will actually show all that, like uh, like we tried it. So let's see. We run the form, and we say say print all data, and it shows all data from our form, and we can print from here. Anyways, now we have to code how we can print selected data. So we select some data from here and click print selected data. It will should show only selected data and the selected data name over here. Like to do that, we have to uh, show the form first. And when we created uh, our form uh, using the wizard, the wizard actually created a data set over here. Eh? So we open the data set, and on the data set, we, uh, we can see we created a data table uh, which has a fill method. So it basically if we go configure it manually and query builder, we can actually build our query over here. We can execute query and we can say it brings in all the data. Now we want uh, a separate query builder which only builds selected data. To do that, we cancel out of this. We make a copy of this uh, copy paste from keyboard, control V, control C. And I don't see that person. So if we don't make a copy of that, we actually come here and add another query here, which will bring in selected data. So we go on next and it will be a select query. See we can write all kinds of query here. But I don't know why we will be writing in that in the report query report object because we are programming a report here, so only select query is fine. We go to query builder and it says select this from my table where paste name equals to I can type manually or just come into a filter column paste name row filter column and type a, type a question mark there. so query is modified where paste name equals to what we can do all sorts of things we can even sort by paste name sorry send it and the query is order by paste name you know how it we auto automatically builds up out here so we go ok and we go next and it will generate another method and the method name is here saying get fill by so we say fill by um, name eh? we modify our query fill by name so we know it's our method and we go next and finish so we have two methods over here fill, fill data and fill by data method, eh? fill method and fill by so we say oh, come to where come to our print preview form and here we write another code we go to code behind of this print preview form here not code behind of that so we uh, oh this is code behind anyways so in this uh, we can get rid of this green line over here it's just a comment to help us it says when the form loads uh, use this fill method to fill all data from my table now we're gonna use the fill by method which will only load selected data selected data which is selected in the combo box so we have to get combo box selected data in the form and this would be let's write a if query over here so we like if tap tap so if something is true, true to this else I do this so we put all this code in else so, so let's tap tap out here okay so we declare declare a global variable uh, which we can declare here Control. and it will be a for the string variable so string string uh, x. x x okay 
it's not global yet we have to type in public and static now it's global global string which means we can pass data on to this variable from any form so we will pass text box select text data in here and when it will receive a data it will run this method uh, not fill method but actually it will run this time fill by method and fill by method requires one text which will be select text from text box on form 1 which we will pass on to xxx now this method looks like so let's just uh, use the button to pass data xxx on this one eh? so we go here form 1 in selected data and from where the code here we can just show the form uh, form will be same same code same form so we copy this data paste it only thing before showing the form we need to pass data so the data we need to put it xxx equals combo box one dot text like so and then uh, why did it pick maybe the variable is on form two so we have to probably write uh, print preview dot like so yes so it's one two so in form two it will part this data let's see if it works yeah? So we select some data and we print selected data. And sure enough, the form second form opens and shows the data. Once again, we select my name, print selected data, it works, and, and, and if we don't select any data, we should pass on blank. Oh, still unselected data. Uh, something wrong with part two of the code. Okay. Oh, uh, we didn't even code part two of the form. Uh, it says when what is true. The true doesn't make any sense. Eh? When xxx is equals to we compare to let's say blank. Okay, when xxx is blank, when we don't pass any data, we should actually print all data. Eh? So instead of equals we say not equals let's see eh? oops something is wrong uh, our not equals sign has some problems it doesn't recognize that anyways just let's say double equals I have to see what is not equal eh? and then we put this data down here and this data up here we are missing somewhere where the commas anyways so when xxx is blank is equals to blank then we will use fill method so print all data and when it's not blank so data is selected and we set print selected data let's see if it works eh? so it's blank we print all data oh hold on What's wrong here? Value cannot be null. Oh, 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 sorry. We haven't coded uh, the second button yet. <laughs> Actually, it's now getting confused. This button, I say, see, we, we are not passing this line of code. Actually, we only need one button, but to show two buttons, same code is required. Eh? You don't understand. Okay, let's see. Now, if we want to print all data, sure enough, we get all data. Don't worry about that. See, and if you want to press uh, print selected data, we print selected data, and yes, this selected data. Okay, that's it for this video. This video is going on pretty long, but uh, I'm sure you can take your time and design your print form to look much better than mine, uh, like professional report. But this is how you do printing in Shisha. Thank you.